Hey, Marcus Conti, accidental whistleblower, incidental journalist, plaintiff in Conti versus DSNY. So, uh, what is it? It's December 12, 2017. Uh, this morning I did a piece on the, uh, the tort of outrage. And I'm really trying to, you know, talk about the, uh, you know, what are the damages in a, in a situation like this? That's what I'm trying to zero in on. Okay, so, you know, it's two years later, right? And, and am I in immediate, you know, am I in still in the same condition when I was fired and when I was under, you know, attack from these uh, people? No, I've kind of, I've grown a, you know, I, I've, you know, because I'm healthy and, I'm, and I've worked on my, uh, my sense of sanity and my... <laughs> My sense of dignity, you know, I have, uh, I just have, you know, the, but I want to talk about, like, the, f the first year, you know, was difficult. I wrote down a bunch of stuff, uh, you know, I think the biggest one was the, um, the uh, helplessness and the hopelessness that, 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 uh, here I was, here, here I was reaching out and, and, and rather than be lifted up and given a trophy, I was I was attacked viscerally, and mocked and harassed and uh, falsely written up, slandered and libeled. And um, I think the, uh, the, the and you know also the all of this is me, by the way. You know, there's no there's no team of lawyers. You know how many hours? I mean, you know, probably thousands of hours in preparing papers. You know, in 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 having to relive the horrific events. And the uh, horrific treatment over and over again. To have to look at it, you know, face a team of lying lawyers, right? And have to have to constantly be be lied about and dragged through the mud. And okay, look, I have a little talent, right? I, I have the ability to you know to come come forward and 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 the in innovativeness to speak up on YouTube, right? But what if I didn't? I would just be like, you know, I'd be roadkill. There would be no hope whatsoever. You know how many people have 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 gone the way of the no hope? All right? But, you know, so there's that degradingness of having to keep re reliving the, the events and, you know, the, the, the humiliation. You know, and, uh, I, I don't, you know, I used to weep. I, I, it, it was very devastating. I mean, I, I suffered from anxiety. Attacks while I was at uh, DSNY, and um, yeah, I cried a couple of times, weeped a couple of times in the car. You know, once definitely when I was fired, I, I remember ha almost feeling like I was having a heart attack on the train going home. You know, I wasn't even given a I wasn't even given a box or a bag to put my you know whole year's worth of uniforms and and contents of a locker. Nothing, just. Goodbye. Give us your... We're most concerned with getting their stuff. And me? Oh, I think we just crashed. So what I was saying, so, you know, the disorders, the um, sleeplessness, you know, it, I didn't eat much, you know, in the beginning. I lost a lot of weight. What else happened? I'm trying not to be a crybaby. I'm just trying to put it on the record, you know, what, what exactly was. The, the, that feeling of degraded and depressed, uh, loss of enjoyment of living. That was a big one. I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm still suffering from that. You don't, you know, I don't, all my videos are made very early in the morning because I don't really, after this, I don't really have a social life. I'm, I'm kind of uh, fearful of, of public places. I'm definitely paranoid. I, I, I look four or five different ways before I cross the street in, in Brooklyn. You know, why, why am I doing a proof-of-life video? Think about that. I do proof-of-life videos to prove that DSNY or the people that they operate with haven't killed me yet. I mean, that, that right there speaks volumes, right? But I have to do a proof-of-life video. It's outrageous. You know, fear, paranoia. You know, let's talk about poverty. Oh, my God, poverty. Food stamps. You know, I couldn't work for the first year I, I you know 
fighting and 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 writing and, and you know and, and now this is a, almost a daily a daily uh, a daily event for me almost two years later because if I don't fight who's going to fight for me no one's going to stand up for it no one's going to stand up for me all this. I guess that's about it you know anger I'm still angry but for the most part there is there is a. Uh, there is there is hope, you know. I, I I'm very hopeful that having done this, that um, through this appeals process and putting everything out on the table and making this public record that's not going to go away on YouTube, anyone can retrieve it forever and ever. You know where it leads. I I don't know. I don't know. That's not my that's not my concern. You know and and. You know, it wasn't my concern coming into this. My, my concern was restitution for harm done. Clear my name. Right? I, I don't want a Pulitzer. I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be, you know, the guy who, 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 who took down the quota and cost us, you know, stopped the city from st stealing millions of dollars in fraudulent quota money from people. You know. I don't want to be that guy, but I guess I am that guy, right? So I guess I'll take that. But that, that's, you know, I don't know. That, that's all. I, I just wanted to, I, I like I said, I, I said last week, I want to do, I want to start talking about the damages because, because it's hard to define and I'm not a fan of doctors. I don't go to doctors, but I'm certainly not the person I was when this started. That's for sure. You know, I was very peaceful, very, very, uh, I was very content, about, you know, about being uh, who I was. I was very sure of who I was. And then having having had the city agency experience of uh, absurd levels of corruption and, and uh, anger and, and fear and racism and discrimination, uh, it, it changed me. It really rattled me, you know. And and I think that I think that with restitution, I think that with a positive outcome, um, that'll be you know that that that'll that'll help. You know, you say, well, what is what are, what is compensation for harm done? Well, there is a laundry list. Like I just I read off some of them, you know, some of the things. But uh, that's all. Okay, so. Uh, out on a walk today. This is uh, I give you a tour. This is Diker Heights, right? It's a golf course in Brooklyn. It's beautiful. It's a big, huge golf course in Brooklyn. A real estate value of that. Pow! Big money. So, um, so thank you for letting me share. If you're still watching any of this, if you're still following this story, if you're still following the story of this guy. <laughs> You know, you're, you're a red pill. You want to see... You're, you're interested in seeing the... How deep the rabbit hole goes, you know? And you'll also start to realize that this um, this this effort, this study, is, is has a direct influence on policy. If we change city policy, this this event change is, it was was earth-shaking to the DSNY. We stopped their quota. We completely changed the dynamic, the, 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 the you know, completely, I'm still paranoid, you know? Someone comes up behind me, I gotta get out of the way. But, um, completely changed the dynamic of, of the city agency. And, and now you're seeing, you know, with that Thomas Paine thing, that's not coincidence. The Thomas Paine article about uh, Cuomo uh, being investigated by the FBI for ghost employees. It's not by chance. That is not by chance. Trust me, that's not by chance. So, I want to thank the, you know, the people, you know who you are. People, there's, there's a lot of people out there that, that have been helping, feeding, you know, kindling the fire, you know, putting wood on the fire. And uh, 
professional enforcement people. You know who you are. But it's not over yet. You know, I'm still out here by myself. You know, I'm still, I'm still a. Uh, I, we have to win this thing. You know, we have to win this thing. Right? You have to win it. You got They gotta. You know, the, the SNY right now is an army of lawyers. They're, they're revving up the engines. Who knows what kind of response they're gonna put in? They're gonna put in a, a stack of lies. You know, buying off politicians, buying off judges. Who the hell knows? Powerful. It's a powerful agency. No one is coming to the rescue. DO, DOI, you know, Attorney General's office. Where are they? Nobody. Nobody. I'm not, I'm not here by myself. I'm totally out here by myself. You know, in terms of political might, at least on the at least on the surface. So that's a lot. Have a good day.